Hi everyone, welcome to the B Plus Plus podcast, a podcast where we speak with leaders from around the world, leaders from the world of business, from technology, you know, thought leaders, uh, people who are leading the way in terms of innovation and how organizations should be run in the future. And today I'm very, very pleased and happy and honored to have a very special guest all the way from San Francisco, Lisa J. Koss, who's the co-founder and partner at Fontos Global. She's also the author of the book, Leading is Learning, How Managers Can Get Business Results Through Developmental Coaching and Inspire Deep Employee Commitment. Wow. I mean, everything that I wanted to know uh, about uh, leading and everything I wanted to know about getting commitment from our teams. But most importantly, Lisa started the conversation by saying, how are we doing? So Lisa, firstly, how are you doing and what led to the book and, and, and how did 25 years of you know, a celebrated career in global leadership and so many other things lead to and culminate into this uh, phenomenal book. So many, so many questions. Thank I you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many minutes do we have today, Avi? Uh, as long as we want. Uh, as long as we want. How yeah. about that? How are we yeah. doing? So yeah, I began the conversation with how are we doing? Because what I'm finding right now is that I'm looking for leaders to tell me about how we're doing how they're doing as they look to re-engage with their you know in new ways post covid they're looking forward they're saying can we get together again mm-hmm. um how are we doing and and i when i when i ask them how are you doing as a team i'm finding that they don't know right because all of their people are now scattered they're no longer seeing them they, they see them daily but what what are we really learning about people it's meeting after meeting and so it's hard to know the state of things and so, you know, that's a, that's a topic for me right now as we start re-engaging in new ways and clients are calling and wanting to do things again. How do you, as a leader, bring your team to focus on the moment? And because I feel that all the time, I feel like, you know, and I find myself, uh, you know, uh, guilty of that all the time. So while, while I'm on a Zoom meeting, I'm probably typing a message to somebody else about the next meeting or the one that we just had or something. And it's just like a robotic way of, oh, I have a 9 a.m., a 10 a.m., 11 a.m. and everything. And it's just so, so how do we do that? I mean, as leaders, is there something that we can do that can help our teams be more centered and more focused in the present? I work on it right now. I'm working on it right now, being fully present with you, listening to what you're saying. And it's the only moment we really have is right now. The only possibility for change is right now. It's not in my head, it's not what I'm thinking, what I was thinking in the last meeting, the future. Like we splinter ourselves and we're not really great at anything when we do that. Right. And so what about being here right now? There's something about just making the choice to be fully here. It's a discipline. I think of it as a discipline, but also spiritual because you have to trust that it actually matters and experience that it actually matters and kind of, you know, calm the demons, eliminate the anxiety and actually make an impact with your presence right now. So get the book, everyone, if you want the magic formula. I mean, I can't wait to get my hands on the formula. So how do we, how do we, I mean, of course, you know, it's easy to say be compassionate. But in in an organizational culture, I mean, do we hire better managers? You know, do we sort of look for people who are more compassionate, people who are more aware of themselves and, you know, uh, of people working around them? Or do we rely on processes? Because, you know, sometimes I, I have struggled with the idea of trying to get somebody to look at things a certain way. And I just felt that they are the wrong person for the job. So so where do we start with this? Is it with the people? Is it with the processes? Or is it with, you know, some culture that we need to build? Mm-hmm. My, my, you know, my view on this is going to be obvious as soon as I say it, which is in this day and age, with so much changing all the time, we need to be hiring for learning acumen. Right. Well. How well can this person stay resilient? How well can they continue to learn and grow? And that's where this in the moment thing comes full circle. Right. Because to the extent we are always learning right now, and there's no, no, to the, to the extent that we all feel oftentimes like we don't know exactly how to go about doing something. 
right. which is happening more and more often because all this context is changing. So in the moment, how do we handle ourselves? Can we breathe? Can we actually apply ourselves in this moment with the skills that we have? Can we be nimble? Can we not get stuck? How well can we learn and grow? How well can I take into account who you are right in this moment and what you're saying? How, how aware am I of how I feel right now and how does that come to bear in this moment? So it's, it's for me, it's about my ability to be present and use that present moment to be the best version of myself. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. It was an absolutely wonderful, insightful conversation. And for all of you listening in, please get the book, Leading is Learning. You can also find out more details about Lisa and the work that she's doing on tossglobal.com. Thanks so much. It was absolutely wonderful. I mean, there's so many gems that you've shared. I'm trying to make a note of those right now and they'll have a really big impact on our lives and, you know, the business as well. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful night. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for your generosity. Thanks.